Well, in a tragic incident, two children have been molested in Thane and this also led to protests. There were uh, protesters blocking the railway tracks. Now, Chief Minister Eknath Chinde has intervened in this and he has said that uh, this case will be uh, tried in a fast-track court. <laughs> Joining me is Anuj, uh, my colleague who has been reporting on this case. Uh, Anuj, massive protests have erupted in Thane after two children were allegedly molested in a school. This is a tragic incident. These are two four-year-old girls. When did this incident come to light? And uh, uh, we hear that a cleaner has been arrested. Uh, what kind of sentiment is on ground and what is the update on this case? The entire Badlapur city is very emotional and it has been the state of the city for last one week. This incident which took place on the 12th and the 13th of this month basically came to light, uh, you know, a little bit after that because we saw that the children, one of them, complain of uh, pain in her private part. After that, the parents tried to contact parents of her friends and got to know that a similar complaint was made by another student. After that, they rushed to the police station to file a complaint regarding it, but then for some reason, the police, the PI here in Badlapur did not file the complaint for 12 hours, which resulted in a lot of people here getting very angry. Eventually, when the, pro when the, uh, you know, when the case was registered late at night on Friday, we saw that the entire city was so, some, in some way united including the social activists and then they wanted harshest of the punishment to be given to the guilty in this crime. Today morning we saw that the protesters took over the entire city and especially two important centres. Firstly the school where this incident happened and secondly the Badlapur railway station. In the school we saw that they demanded strongest action against all the teachers who were involved in this, the ones who tried to oversee, overview this particular, uh, this particular school but you know ignored this happening when it happened. Uh, so swift action was taken against them. The only problem problem of the protesters that they told us was that the action was taken only when the protesters got down to got down to the ground same thing happened here at the station the the protesters very tactfully uh, you know took over or basically hijacked this particular railway track which you can see is empty right now for a reason i'll come to in a moment but then they were here for more than 8 hours which resulted not just in uh, in disruption of the central railways an important railway line here in mumbai but also of other forms of public life in badlapur as well we saw that several representatives from the police and the government trying to woo the, uh, the protesters by appealing to them to take away their protests or especially at least try and get it outside of the railway tracks. We saw be it the senior police official or even the senior minister Girish Mahajan who is there talking to the police official on how the situation went at the moment. They tried to tell them that the case has been fast tracked and the result will come in as many as 15 to 30 days. Besides, they also told the protesters that the action was initiated or rather taken against all those involved including those in the police who were responsible in the delaying of this entire case. Right. They also told that action has been taken against the principal and a couple of teachers here in the particular school. And of course, nothing was able to dilute the protesters as a result of which at least an hour back we saw that the police got down on lati charging the people which dispersed them to different parts of the city. After that, the police was here trying to make sure that the protesters don't return. And uh, by now, it seems that the protesters have left the station. Of course, they tried to pelt stones towards the police when the lati charge happened, but no more development has happened as far as the protesters across, uh, especially around the railway station area is concerned. But the police and the other armed forces are still here, just trying to make sure that the safety measures are taken into uh, taken into consideration. More importantly, and finally, we saw the workers of the central railways come and basically have a look at the tracks just to see if any damage has been done to the railway tracks here, just so that they can begin the the or rather they can resume the railway services which have been at a halt since morning for the last eight to nine hours here in Mumbai. Well, Anuj, also tell us, uh, Thane is considered very important, uh, you know, politically for Eknath Shinde. This is where he comes from. This is where he started his career from. So, politically, this is a very, uh, you know, uh, critical incident uh, because, you know, Maharashtra polls are also likely to happen end of this year. So how is the administration looking at uh, the incident like this? Because uh, uh, Eknath Shinde was quick to intervene and he said that this case will also be tried in a fast track, uh, uh, fast track court. Is that also to in some, some ways assuage the people or is it uh, something that's beyond that because politics is also an important part of uh, uh, what happened today? 
you see the perception of the government taking a swift and a quick action is not something that the protesters here agree with because of course we saw the chief minister is Eknath Shinde who comes from this region in Thane as you rightly said and the deputy chief minister Devendra Fadnavis uh, tweet and give statements and talk about it but that only happened when the protesters came down to the ground this incident was out in public and it had taken place over a week ago one of the major reasons why the protesters had to come here to hijack this uh, railway track basically was the fact that it was been overlooked by those in the administration and that also resulted in some sort of an inactivity as far as the police is also concerned. So the anger was due to several reasons. Firstly, of course, the case itself and secondly, the fact that there was no sort of political intervention that was seen until today morning. We saw that when protests started happening in the morning and considering how important this particular station is for Mumbai because a lot of working class people from Mumbai travel to Badlapur, hundreds if not thousands of them on an hourly basis. That basically left the administration no other option but to take action. But when they did, they did try to make it look prompt. We saw the announcement by the Chief Minister Eknath Shinde where he said that the case will be put through a fast track court or the Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis who stated that an SIT will be put in place to make sure that the justice uh, is delivered in this particular case. We also saw Girish Mahajan come and interact with the people for more than an hour earlier here in the afternoon and try to tell the people that their demands which were quite unreasonable be it the, uh, you know, giving the accused to the public Public, but they tried to. They, he tried to tell the people that the government was trying to do everything within its, uh, uh, you know, within its uh, constitutional limitation to try and give justice. Besides those uh, in the government, the opposition has also come down heavily. We saw Ambadas Danvi just speaking to the media just a while back. He is the leader of opposition in the MLC. He said that uh, uh, one point of criticism for the opposition here is the Maji Ladki Bahin Yojana, which translates to My Dear Sister. You know, a similar Yojana which, hap which happened in Madhya Pradesh was also implemented in Maharashtra just a few months before the election take place. And we're also seeing that one of the deputy chief minister, that is Ajit Pawar, is touring the entire state, promoting those schemes and trying to show how, uh, you know, how the government is in favor of uh, uh, women empowerment. But this event taking place right when the election is just so close, and especially when a scheme like this has been implemented or announced by the government, gave the opposition a good point to criticize them. We also saw similar points being made by uh, Uddhav Thakre, the Shiv Sena UBT chief, in the morning, where he said that more than 100 and more than 1,000 and 500, the people or rather the women here needed safety. The point was also reiterated by senior opposition leaders, be it, uh, be it Sanjay Raut or even Supriya Surya and we also saw Ambadas Danvi speak about it a few while back, uh, a few minutes ago. So we can expect a lot of political movement regarding this particular instance in the next few days as right. well. Although we see that the physical form of protest have gone down at least as of now here in Badlapur.